How late am I? Huh. Okay. Okay. I think. Uh. Ba 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 ba. ba. All right. Is it working? I miss. I. Uh, I've. Someone notified me on the Discord server. This was a real thing. I can't believe that I missed this. Oh boy. Yeah. No. I'm late. I'm late to the party. Um. When did this start? This started up right here. All right. We are hoping for Pizza Tower. Here we go. Good lord. Man, my brain my brain is ass. Also, I know the audio is going to sound like shit, but I don't care. All right, here we go. Let's get it. Yay! This is, I swear they're going to fucking reveal um World of Goo 2 and it, it, it okay, hear me out. World of Goo World of Goo 2 um the the full name will be World of Goo 2 Ready for Poo. Reason is because they're creating a new type of goo that <laughs> Okay, this is Streams already a dumpster fire. This is great. All right, let's let's go. I got shit to do today, so this will be fun to just kind of do. Oh, good lord! This is very, this is very Nintendo treehouse. Hey, Micah, you ready to get started? Hey, it's a Discord call. Or no, it's not Discord. Hello. It's... Um, Pip, you have a filter on. What? Oh. I don't think anybody's gonna notice. Let's go. Hi, I'm Matt, director and lead developer on Little Kitty Big City. I'm Micah, the animator. And I'm Pip, the narrative designer. Little Kitty Big City is okay. a game about exploring a weird and wonderful neighborhood. Like it's the morning I'm eaten. I know. I just got out of the shower. I well, I, I don't know. I just want to record this. Is that a cat? Uh, yeah, 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 it is. I mean, this is like a game. Can I hide chat? Yes, I can. That's so good that I can hide their fucking um their other YouTube chat. It's a game about being a little cat. A little cat in a world filled with exciting distractions. Made by people who love Yet again, this is this is not going to be um like the Nintendo announcement that I'm hoping it will be. Hell, I don't even have chat on screen. You can tell that I just threw this together literally last second. Um but Alright. Time for indie stuff, I guess. I don't know. Have you brushed my teeth? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Where is I? Wait a minute, this is just stray, right? Like just straight up. Also, I stayed up all night talking to Point uh, on their Discord server. Holy shit, I stayed up till fucking five in the morning. Um, oh. Oh boy. Um. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, I'm like I'm like brain dead right now. I need to take a nap. Yet again, this just this this just uh, you know. We saved the stream. I mean, I guess, but like, you, you guys were late, man. You guys. You, you guys squeezed out a W. Like. And barely so. I had no time to prepare. Or to prepare. I, I like. Oh, boy. I, I need to sleep, probably. I'm not going to, though. At least not yet. I'll take a nap later. Hopefully that will just be enough for, to survive the day. Oh boy, this is this. Uh, ooh, this uh, this uh, this uh, this has a cringe. Oh my 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 bones, uh, uh, <laughs> my muscles, my muscles involuntarily flex. Made by Double Dagger. I don't know who that is. 
begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Oh, that's hype. Not really my thing, though. That just looks like stray, but worse. Cyberpunk? Like you're meant for something more? That's been kind of my deal since forever. But now? Metroid? Atari. <laughs> what is this? This is Metroid. This is anime Metroid. Wow. Oh boy. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh. Oh boy. Okay. My cringe receptors, like like the little receptor on my little my little dangly doogly on the top of my head is is going off like crazy telling me that I need to I need to fucking like get out of here. But and yet I'm so intrigued. Just feels like a Metroid but like, like yeah, it literally does. Which you totally should. Made by Atari. Sci-fi action. Yeah, this just seems like Metroid. Right? I mean, th this just seems like Metroid, but it's just the part of Metroid that's like the most mid. Ooh, I like the art style. It's very unique. It, it actually reminds me a lot of um, the what like the crank it thing. Um, whatever that console was. A journey of self discovery awaits in this exploration based adventure. Take on the role of an android, the, the creation of a doctor who has since passed away. Every action you take and decision you make during your journey reveals a little more about who you are. And there are no right or wrong choices. Travel to places from your memories. Interact with other characters. And but is there a victory screen? That's my question. Gradually piece together the future the doctor envisioned for you. <laughs> I, I like the concept. The game doesn't look all that interesting, though. At the end of your journey, your personality type will be revealed. Oh, oh, hype. I like that. That's a cool end. I don't want to play a Metroid game made by fucking Atari. Yeah, <laughs> given given their track record, it's like <laughs> we had Atari made a Metroidvania. No. <laughs> Wait, so this is medieval? All right. Oh, uh, by the way, guys, if we get Pizza Tower, that's a dub, like an immediate dub. This this feels like a uh, pizza tower moment. The personality types of other players, you can share your results with each other and compare your choices. Find out who you are in Refined Self. <laughs> That's, that's, that's a good name. That's uh, so stupid. Hi everyone, we're Spy Garden Games, the developers of Sticky Business. What? We draw inspirations from the small businesses and creators we saw. Why does this woman on the, uh, on the right look dead inside? Is that just me? Like, like, it literally looks like she just came out of crying in the bathroom. <laughs> I assume Pizza Tower was already on Switch. Uh, no, it's not. 
I'm really hoping that it is, though, because holy shit, that's a great game. Yeah. It's been so inspiring to see all those fantastic artists create cute stickers, assemble beautiful packages. She looks like she's on the verge of tears right now. Like, actually. We wanted to make a game where you like, I feel her pain. It was supposed to be what happened off camera? Tell me. So many people liked the concept that we kept working on it. We're excited for you to play on Nintendo Switch. I don't like how she's staring at me either. I'm glad we're sticking around for the cozy sim. Sticky business. You've got a sticker shop to run. So let your imagination run wild as you create stickers and ship them. So it's a single element of Animal Crossing New Horizons. But then they turn that into the game. I'm sorry, but why? I'm sorry, but who? I'd be crying too if this with this direct yeah, true. Wait a minute, so you don't get to specifically design your stickers, basically. You bit okay, wait a minute. So so you can't make your own designs? It seems kind of fucked. Like, right? I would want to make my own. Uh, unless they're gonna get to that. Holy shit, my, my, oh, oh, the dangly, the, the dangly is going off so much to the point where it's, it's, it's making a siren noise. Well, actually, wait, one sec, I could probably, can I get like some wee woo? Wee woo sound, there you go. Wee woo sound effect. <laughs> That that that's my little boober right now on, on the top of my head, T telling me, oh boy, <laughs> the cr the cringe receptors are going fucking crazy. Oh shit! There we go. Oh boy, this is this is a good indie to grip. Thank you. The, exactly, love. Exactly. This game is somehow worse than Paper Mario Sticker Star did. <laughs> how the how did that happen? If Pizza Tower is not revealed and all of this was just like a bunch of these games, I'm gonna scream. Design your artistic adhesives. But no shop is complete without its customers. Each one will ask for different stickers, and by fulfilling their requests, not only will you impress your customers, but you'll also learn more about their lives. From a music teacher striving to motivate her students, to a dad who wants to cheer up his grieving child, each customer has a heartfelt story to share. Plus, the Plan With Me paid DLC adds 10 more... Oh, great, DLC. We've already come up with, T with DLC, guys, for a game that has... <laughs> 1% content. Customer stories in over 100 sticker elements, including habit trackers, washi tape, and frames. Get ready to build the cutest shop. I can't design my own stickers. The majority of shit that people are going to make who play this are going to be penises. I'm, I'm, I'm already calling it. It's going to just be a bunch of sausages, and it's going to be really, really funny, but at the same time, really, really sad that that would be the extent of the game. Um, Ever. I think this needs some more time it's to bake in the uh, Both oven. the game and DLC launch as timed console exclusives on Nintendo Switch later today. A bundle of the game and oh, I can't DLC wait to buy that. will also be available later today. Oh, great. If you're looking for explosive, huh? Pizza Tower. Ba 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 ba. One percent content game has DLC before Pikmin Four. Yeah. 
If Pikmin 4 were to have a, another DLC mode, I want it to be a more expanded version of uh, Olimar's side mode, but make it for Louie. Trio of upcoming indie games. Check them out. Ooh, Anton! Yeah, that's awesome, actually. Wait a minute, that's sick. I'm gonna find out who did this and blast him into teeny tiny little pieces. Oh yeah, that's my boy. Okay, that's sick. Anton Blast. That's that's okay. This is a good announcement. That's good. Oh, this looks sick. This looks like Pizza Tower, but ten times more chaotic. That's awesome. I love this. Oh, November 12th is going to be a good day for gaming. All right, first dub. First actual dub. I love this. Drunk guy blows up hell. It sets a devil soul's beer. Yeah. I love this. All right, first first dub. First dub. Yo! All right, I'm definitely playing that. I'm definitely playing that. A riveting first-person adventure awaits in Valley Peaks. And we're back to stupid shit. <laughs> No, just kidding. Glide and even use your tongue to scale the mountains. What? Setting up radio towers so the locals can Okay, this actually this actually looks hella fucking but with chill. Boulders, spikes, and other hazards in your way, the trek to the summits won't be This easy. is cool. If you need a hiking hiatus, there's still plenty to do. Chat with the froggy folks and take on small side quests. Fill out stamp cards for equipment unlocks to help make climbing easier. This is like a game that Scruffy would talk about, which is which is already a vibe with me. Or kick back and relax with mini games. Plan your trip to Valley Peaks when it leaps onto Nintendo Switch this year. Bleep. Yeah. They made Celeste for a uh, natural game. Yeah. I like that though. It's cool. Ooh. What's this? A little puzzle game? I like me a little puzzle game. I like the art style a lot. See, this is the good. Why are they putting the good shit here? Huh. I have no idea what to think about this. Hi, I am Albert Pinto, the creator of Europa. Six years or so ago, I started working on the game in my spare time, and since then, it blossomed with the help of an amazing collective what of friends, is this? all bringing their piece of magic. It all started with the idea of using watercolor art style to evoke peaceful and zen vibes. That's been around... <laughs> May, I, I, hate, I hate to bust your bubble, but that's been around in gaming for a long time, dude. You didn't invent that. Seems like an interesting little puzzle game, yeah. I wanted it to be a meditative experience and to tell a beautiful story through gameplay that's able to put the player in a state of flow. I really hope you enjoy the world that we are creating here, and I cannot wait to show it to you. Thank you so much. Ooh, that just oh no oh oh uh oh uh oh oh the game the game looks ooh the the game uh oh game visuals look uh oh uh oh that looks good. But uh oh, human human look wrong. This is pretty. It kind of just looks like every other indie game, though. Like, right? Like, like this, like, its visuals aren't really unique enough to hold it. Trying to build something better than what we left behind. 
Is that Jupiter? Or Uranus? No, no, that, that that's Uranus. Oh gosh, I do I do not like that main character. That 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 looks wrong. Yeah. Wee woo wee woo. Wee woo. Wee woo. Is it a platformer? What is th is this what what is this game? I bet the story kicks ass, by the way. Ooh, this, this I, I can't have this character on screen. Please, for the love of God, make their uh, character creator. Because, holy shit. You're a PF. <laughs> Order up some pizza because the How is this an indie game? Also, we don't go from that to this. <laughs> oh, actually, wait. There was something that I wanted to share. This is something that I want to bring up on stream, and I don't think I don't think there's gonna be a better time. Uh, the Japanese trailer for um for World of Goo Two is really funny. One sec, because um it has a Japan like a really deep voice Japanese narrator. And every time that he sounds, or every time, every, every time that he says goo, he sounds like really, um, like disgusted. Uh, one sec. World of Goo. Oh, that's too many O's. World of Goo 2. Nope. 2 Nintendo Switch. Do like a trailer for it. They're shopping. Images, no videos. There we go. Uh the Japanese one. I need that. Um Japanese, Japanese. Did they did they take it down? No, they couldn't have taken it down. Japanese version, yeah. There we go. Oh, where is it? Oh, dang it. I can't find it. All right. That's that that that, that that's, that's an adventure for another day. If anyone on Discord can find it, please please let me know. I'm trying to find it. It's great. I think we just skip this one, right? We just we we just go over here. We 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 skip this one, right? Yeah, I say we skip that one. Um, all right, good shit. Well, that's a boy. That's that that's a lad. Looks a little bit like um, like a mobile game, but you know. Two D platformer. Question mark? The pirates. Chibi creepies. It's 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 very nice visually. I have no idea what this game is going to be like. Like, do you think this game has passion? Uh, passion? I don't know, it just looks like a fucking video game. <laughs> There's multiplayer to it though, which is nice. It's gonna be like a dungeon crawler-esque type game. I 
I was not I out of everything that I was expecting, I was not expecting this. Also, the dude on the left kind of looks like Parkser from Doug Doug. Is that just me? He 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 looks like Parkser if he were to be a dad. And not living with Doug Doug. <laughs> from Phuket Cup. I'm Jay, the Lucas Studio Art Director. And this is my amazing wife and artist, Ying. Hi there. We are part of the creative team. <laughs> and this is my wife. <laughs> also came about this is my team. wife. It is such a blast for us to merge our shared passion for art and craft into our game as we design a pattern called Hook. Together, what? we have designed over 180 hoops for Nintendo Switch version, and there are so many more to come after the game has launched. Who, Our what? passions are fusion of personal experience and the community's ideas. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I'm confused. What? The gamified avatar of our producer, Tanin. Some that's content <laughs> category, like the feature, for example. Wait a minute, that's like the penguin suit. Wait a minute, no, no, no. Oh no, it's it's it, it it it's a different one. I thought that was the peanut butter gamer penguin suit. I was I was about to oh. Looking at Discord memes. Oh, 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 somebody found it. Somebody found it. Uh oh. Oh baby, 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 baby. Yeah. I do like this emote though. <laughs> that's that's good. Is that just straight up her or is that? Yeah, no, that's that that that's her. I thought for a second there that might be a different person. Category like mystical creature, for example, mystical creatures from our players. Okay. We hope you will enjoy the game and happy fishing. So a teacup. <laughs> Here's the nitty gritty on this cozy game. You'll complete puzzles called hoops to bring stunning embroidery patterns to life. What? Stitch together groups of cells according to the numbers on the grid while avoiding any overlaps. Figuring out exactly where to stitch is key to completing the hoop. From roller skates and teddy bears to real life locations, there are sorts of hoops for you to needle and what i mean like like my mom makes these <laughs> noodle over noodle hoops come in different sizes so you can take a quick break with smaller hoops or unwind with bigger ones that require more careful thought complete i mean all these puzzles look relatively easy hoops in whatever order you'd like no matter which hoop you choose each one has the I could see this being like a big chill game though. Potential to offer a relaxing and calming experience that you can also enjoy with touch controls in handheld mode. And then <laughs> and then there's speedruns of this game of people like sweating buckets. After like completing a hoop, you can play it again in free stitch mode and recolor it to your liking. If a hoop seems too tough, don't worry. A handy hint feature can be used at any time. You can also tailor your experience with various accessibility settings. Oh, colorblind mode, that's nice. Want more of a challenge? Try the limited time daily Shikaku puzzle. Ooh, there it is. That speedruns. Speedruns it. These ones don't offer any hints, so you'll really need to put your thinking cap on. I mean, like, I can think of, like, 15 other, in like, uh, indie puzzle games that have a much more interesting idea than this. I mean, like, yeah, it's, it's kind of cool, but it just kind of, I don't know, I, I, I feel like this is one of those, like, NES games that would only release in, like, um, Japan and Europe, um, like that one Mario game, but made for modern day. <laughs> I don't know, that, 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 that might just be me, but, um, I don't know, just, just, just kind of odd, you know? Also, I really gotta play Baba as you on stream at some point, because brain melting would be fun. Weekly hoops are also available. Each one is inspired by real life events and filled with trivia. So 
And then all the examples is like, this is Christmas, this is Easter, this is St. Petty's Day. <laughs> it's full with mystery and wonder. I feel like that at this point, they, these are just buzzwords to get people to buy shit. Stitch away while learning a fun fact or two. Plus, once a weekly hoop is unlocked, it's yours to play whenever you'd like. Stitch launches as a con- that's a Disney copyright character, you can't have it. Exclusive on Nintendo Switch, later today. I don't know, I, I, I'm kind of sounding like a cynical asshole right now, but I mean, at the same time, like, these games don't appeal to just me. Pretty inoffensive, just a little puzzle, yeah. They just Before don't specifically go, appeal to me. Let's take a quick look at a few more indie games heading to Nintendo Switch. Pizza Tower, Pizza Pirate Tower, please. Please, God, Lord, please. Bzzz. Oh. Oh, that looks interesting. I like this idea. Animal well. Yo, donkey. Big, go big mode. I'm very curious what this is. I'm very excited to see what it is. I love the art style already. Duck Detective. S the Secret Salami? I love ducks. I need to play this. Tear, sad, yes. It's like a little two, like a th little 3D platformer. Little, little crab mate. Alright. Pizza Tower, I swear to God, if you people, if you people keep dancing around this like jackasses and I don't hear bop, 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 I'm going to scream. Before we run out of steam, take a look. They said steam, it's not going to be the game. Get ready to sail the spectacular They made a farming game. <laughs> in this long-awaited Steam World sequel. Of the world what? The metal limbs and mechanical hearts of its robotic denizens. What? Now, it's up to you to explore the great sea and discover why this once essential resource what? has become a nautical nightmare. Guide your ragtag crew of steam bots in tactical, turn-based shootouts in a brand new adventure. Oh, okay. Shoot and let those bullets bam. Oh boy. Oh, oh cringe cringe receptors. Cr cringe one say let me just let me just this time around you can explore the world map and engage in real time naval combat <laughs> <laughs> holy shit that was timed perfectly oh boy <laughs> real time naval combat we've <laughs> no oh boy all right we continue Ride this train. Equip your submarine with a variety of weapons and items, then line up your shot to blast baddies. Boot. <laughs> I don't know. This, I mean, this this game seems interesting. A little bit. You can even befriend steam bots along the way, recruit them to your cause, and embark on an epic voyage together. Is like a dungeon crawler? As you get to know more bots, you'll learn how your actions impact their lives. Plus, with the new job system and in If they make a fucking pun here, I'm out. ...character customization, along with over 150 weapons, utility items, and ship equipment pieces, you can strategically craft your crew to best fit the mission at hand. Your Steam Bot's jobs and abilities depend on their equipped weapons and levels. Each I'm waiting for the pun. I'm, 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 I'm like sitting here patiently waiting for the pun. Of course, you can also steal and wear your enemy's hats. So many hats. Take aim and last box to bits when Steamworld 
Heist 2. Ricochets onto Nintendo Switch. Ricochets. The best one was Anton. We hope you enjoyed the games and today's No, not that one. Not that one either. Nope, not that. That's not it either. Show me the fucking Anton game. They didn't. You sons of bitches. No, 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 no. no. Where's my boy? There he is. That's my boy. That's my fucking boy, baby. Well, that was it. I mean, this was the best announcement that they made. I cannot wait to play this. So. We only got one good game. Yeah, I mean, you know, that's, that's, just, that's just every indie direct. Basically. Alright, so, um... I'm excited for this. And that's, um, that's it. <laughs> it is good to know that, uh, Pepino's brother in spirit is, uh, gonna be slashing people with a fucking mallet. Have a blast. Cause this looks nuts. I already love this and its art style. If it has a combo meter, I'm all on board. It just needs a combo meter. We did have fun roasting it. Oh yeah, we literally do that every single time unless it's actually something interesting. There are a handful of games in here that do look really fascinating. Um, that I might just give a little test drive later. Um... But this, since the demo's coming out later today, I, I'll just play that on stream, I think. Um, like, because um, the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door thing, we don't have much game left there, uh, due to us kind of being in the middle of the chapter. So I could do, like, a thing where, after we're done with that chapter, I'll just play a little little bit of Anton, um, or <laughs> however you say that. I, I, I say Anton, it might be something different. One sec. What is the name of this game, actually? Nope. Tell me, tell me that we got a title right. Console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system, November. Dynamite Annie to lay wacky worlds to waste and beat up brutish bosses. Smash up levels One sec. like concrete jungles and slimy sewers. Just want to see how you say it. Alter their paths and find new areas to explore. After reaching the end of each level, a dead pizza time. Nader will start ticking down. So you've got to rush back to the beginning before everything explodes. Get ready for a destructively good time in Anton Blast. Anton, that's it. That's how you say it. I'm gonna disappear for months again. All right, see you, Rex. Yet again, I'm I'm extremely hyped for this one. Wow, that's a gigantic smear frame. That is that is just a smear frame. That that sprite, sole existence is smear frame. Um, so yeah, I'm probably gonna play this on stream, um, but like not dedicated to a specific stream until the actual game comes out in November, which is a little while from now. Um, still though, very excited for this one. This one looks hype. Um, but yeah, I guess that's just kind of it for the stream. I never, I didn't really have a plan for this. This was just... Something slapped together with fucking duct tape. Um, oh yeah, Japanese World of Goo trailer. I should probably show that one uh, real fast. I think I liked it. One sect. Se sect. One sect, guys. I need to go find thing. Oh yeah. Everybody's talking about the Anto uh, Anton Blast release trailer. I also love how anyone who's going to play Anton Blast is basically just Pizza Tower fans who want more. I think that's kind of funny. Let me find... Ooh. 
If it just like a world of goo, does it show up? Yes, it does. Why does that show up? But <laughs> not the okay. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna. I'm 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 just gonna like kind of watch the video. All right, now it should show up from my phone onto my um watch list. So let me go over to my channel history. No, I clicked on Nintendo Japanese. That's wrong. Then to click on the World of Gucci Terra. Thank you. All right, so this is it. This is amazing, by the way. The way that he says goo just makes me smile in a way that no one else could say goo. 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 <laughs> it's goo. <laughs> I love that. It's like, it's like he just now realized what this game was about. It was like, ugh. Goo. Goo. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> I love that. It's so good. It's the only time they ever says it like this. Good. <laughs> I love that. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. W one more time for the red. Goo. All right. I'm done there. All right, we can stop. Cool. Um, I don't really have anything else planned. I did find it, but I don't want to bother you. Oh no, we we. I mean, it, it, it's fine. I have to get out in two minutes. All right. Um. So. No, fuck it. <laughs> this is a weird stream, why not? Alright, go for it. So let me go grab the oh these headphones. That way my audio quality isn't garbage. I do think goo should be uh should be a sound effect on the Discord server. I'll I'll, I'll make that one later. Oh okay there we go. Uh, what should we use as music? It's a game ad. I don't need that. Or no, wait, no. This is my world map. I, I, well, you know what? Why not? Uh, is there anything that's like... No. Okay, never mind. This is my stream playlist. Nope, that's... Nope. Pause. Let's get some nice earthbound music. Really want hospital, but actually no. This is the this this is probably better. There's nothing more powerful than Wix. <laughs> All There we go. Alright. Let's begin. What the hell is la is a lag wire? Thank you, Liv. Are you ever going to play Grounded? Probably not. It just does not look like my thing. But, uh, but... You, you can like it, I guess. <laughs> just, 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 just not my jam. Not, not a huge fan of uh, shooters. 
What the hell is a lagware? Um, okay, so basically it's WarioWare, uh, or a WarioWare st style clip compilation. So it's gonna be like a best of lag switch clips, but set in a WarioWare setting. So each microgame, uh, or micro game, uh, in a WarioWare setting would then be turned into a, uh, lag switch clip. And each character would represent a different compilation. Like, I don't know, Stugart would represent best of lag switch making really weird fucking noises. Or, <laughs> or Eggsworth would be best of Eggsworth compilation. Or something like that. Um, yeah. Question, who has actually 100- percent guessed all the characters on the map i don't know i think people just kind of stopped after a while question has your dog ever slobbered on you not only has my dog slobbered on you, me um <laughs> she has in multiple occasions licked the inside of my mouth <laughs> and it's disgusting every single time i love her i love jules so much but man she said she He's got to chill. And I'm like, uh, uh, uh. And I immediately go over to the sink. I fucking wash out my mouth with soap. It's so gross. Uh. If, if there was one thing that I could make her stop doing, it's that. Oh, it's disgusting. Slava. Okay, that's. Alright. Question Did me begging you to play Subnautica help? No, not at all. <laughs> Oh, I have a question for you, chat. Um, did you see the new uh, designs for the cops? Because, yeah. There are them around. That's the that's the new looking HUD that I still have not used at all. Dang it. I guess because there hasn't really been a purpose for me using this one. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're wondering what's different about this specific HUD, uh, if you notice that the chat box is actually purple now, that was an announcement that I made for the one year anniversary. That the cat that that apparently was so interesting that I made it its own thing. Good lord. I guess I'll go ahead and show up the uh, show off the new cop designs because I like them a lot more. So this was the past designs, which they didn't look bad. But, like, they they lack something that definitely... They, they kind of lacked, like, that lag switch touch that I feel like a lot of my other artworks have. Um, I do like the brightness of, the, of, um, of Barry a little more than uh, the one that is, like, than the remake or redesign. But I think um, Rick the human character over here definitely got a much better uh, design in the future so this is what it turned into all right so we went from that to this i like this one a lot more for many different reasons um first of all rick looks a lot better um Secondly, they're not wearing their police uniforms, which was, like, my biggest complaint. But they still have their badges, which is good because they represent moderators. Um, and thirdly, Barry is finally wearing a fucking shirt. It's actually themed after a shirt that I wear a lot. Um, actually, all the clothes that they're both wearing is stuff that I like to wear. Like, um, like I literally have, like, this leather jacket with, like, this hole in it. <laughs> Which is the one that Rick's wearing, and then the shirt that's Barry, that Barry's wearing. It's not necessarily the same color scheme, but it is like this maroon striped shirt that I absolutely love wearing. Uh, so there you go. Rick is not some weird normality, or a normality. Uh, no. You should put an R and a B by their badges. Oh, I should. That's human. <laughs> Well, I don't know. I like his design a little more. He definitely has a little bit more character to him now. Instead of it just being like, oh, this is some angry guy. Like, you can see, like, quite clearly, like, this is Nose. 
This is jaw. The nose kind of leads into the mouth. He kind of looks like a character from Smiling Friends, which is definitely where I got a little bit of my inspiration from. But I do think he kind of holds his own identity as well for him being the more serious uh, managing moderator as Barry is more of a casual standard moderator. Which is funny because Barry is a fucking robot. <laughs> And that's not normally how robots do things. <laughs> um, yet again, I do think Barry's design could need a little bit retooling, specifically with... Um, I think it's just like the head and like the eyes need to be slightly different. But, um, but uh, other than that, I really like Rick's design a lot more than this past one. And um, Barry's just a goober and I love him a lot. So, yeah. Of course, you have a leather jacket with a hole in it. Yep. I mean, then again, every leather jacket has a hole in it. I believe. Wait, Barry wasn't wearing a shirt? No, no, Barry was wearing a shirt. One sec. I'll pull up the old designs again. Old designs, boom. Yeah, Barry's wearing some form of, like, police attire, but I didn't really like the look of it. So I had it changed. Not to mention, Rick just looks very odd. Like, I don't know, just not not my kind of vibe. Glad that that kind of turned into this. I don't know. The actually, one sec, we'll do it. We'll do a side by side comparison. How about that? So, old designs. Okay. So. Have these guys here. New guys over here. Okay. I think I like the head on the old design a little more. Maybe it's because it's more 3D. Um, or like the size of the eyes. But overall, I think I like the new designs more. Rick looks fat in the old picture? Yeah. <laughs> He's not supposed to be. It is kind of interesting seeing like a side-by-side -side comparison for the first time. It's very odd. The new designs definitely look better. Yeah. Just got home from school. Yo, what's up, Jam? But yeah, I definitely like uh, new design over old design overall. But I do think uh, the head of Barry on the old design could be slapped on the new design. I think that's the only thing that needs some retooling. I guess just like that shade of gray that I really vibe with. Whereas uh, the shade of gray now kind of uh, makes it a little bit difficult to see the black outlines. I don't know. But Ed, everything else is basically just normal. But I really love Rick's new redesign. I think that one was by far the most beneficial. Anything cool happen? Only uh, Anton Blast, which a demo is going to release on Switch uh, in a little bit. Which is hype. It's not quite Pizza Tower, but it's the closest thing that we got, so I'll take it. I don't know how long Anton Blast has been in development for, so... I mean, you know. Let's get some new music in here. Oh, great. I love... Okay, H have you ever watched, like, an advertisement that have, like, really young kids and, like, you feel really uncomfortable because, like, they can't act and it just, it just looks so dumb? I rewinded the fucking video and it played it another two ads. YouTube, fix your problem. It's horrible. And I know you won't. 
Because there's little dollar signs in your eyes going, <laughs> we could squeeze them out for everything. But, like, at the same time, I don't want to pay for premium just so I can actually watch the fucking vids. Oh, gosh. Anyway, uh, moving on to some other stuff. I made all these announcements before. Um, so, here's a bit of an issue with one of the lag switch characters, which is Chatty. I fucking adore Chatty. But, holy crap, I have not been able to recreate her. It's been horrible. Um, <laughs> this was the best design I could come up with. And I've been trying to work with, like, other angles. In other poses. In trying to remake the art. None of it looks good. <laughs> it all looks off. <laughs> so, um... Chetty's definitely in a situation where I cannot recreate her. I love her design. I can't remake it. It's it's terrible. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh boy. My dentist told me. I <laughs> I don't think that's a good thing, Testy. The art that Darv made perfectly fits her. Wait a minute. Let me see that. <clears throat> Darv art. Darv is a fucking goat at making art, by the way. Oh yeah, that 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 works. That definitely works. I like that a lot. Actually, well, well, I, I I say that Darv's really good at making art, but it's mainly just his art style that I really like. Um, but at, at, everybody on the Discord has a fucking amazing looking art style. It's crazy. Chatty's too good. This is the problem. Yeah, I guess. I still don't understand why you made Chatty female. Uh, well, just because we're lacking in female characters in like Switch Cinematic Universe. Like... Literally, the only two that we have at the moment are Sarah and Hagra. Uh, one of which being ripped, like, extreme, like, directly from Nintendo, and the other one could use a redesign if it wanted to become more of a lag switch thing. But still, um, it just kind of felt like the male to female ratio in terms of, uh, lag switch characters was just all sorts of out of fucking whack. So I was just like. Eh, we'll make Chatty female. Not to mention, I think it fits her. Here. I can't imagine her not being female. Oh, yeah, that and Stugart got a redesign, which I think I showed off on the last stream, but I'll show off one more time. Last time, I'm gonna bring up the son of a bitch. Bop. I like it. It's good. Yeah, yet again, a little stitches and patching go a long way to make the character feel more original. And then, uh, Applet, I still haven't done any art for. I need to, I need to do that. Active chat is 85% male. I mean, yeah, but at the same time, I just wanted to make her female. <laughs> at the end of the day, the main reason why I did it was just because I wanted to. That, that's that's mainly what it boils down to. I just wanted to make her female. <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Stugart became a marketable plushie. What would that look like if we had Stuart plushie and Stugart plushie? Ugh. A marketable pleasure. Oh yeah. By the way, I keep on getting um, I I or I, I I keep on getting questions from. I'm switching the music. This is way too many fucking ads for this single song. Listen, well, Kirby music, which I'm almost certain doesn't have any ads. There we go. That's good. Oh, that's childhood. Ooh, that is childhood. Um. So basically, um. Like, I keep on getting asked by multiple people on the Discord, will you ever make merchandise? Um, if you are ever a YouTuber, this should be out of the question. 
which that answer is no. <laughs> at least not at the moment. I mean, yeah, maybe if my channel grows enough, but like people are kind of asking that question as if I could do it whenever I want to do it. I'm just not doing it at the moment. No, merch is fucking hard to sell. First of all, you need a very wide audience that would buy it. Second of all, you're going to need to break, like, good money terms when it comes to shit. So, like, overall, the amount of shirts that you make have to equal the amount of shirts that you sell. Thirdly, I, I ain't got that kind of money to do that shit. And fourthly, who would make it? You know? Like, there's, there's a lot, like, going into that that I feel like a lot of people kind of miss out on. But, yeah... Were you going to continue the Tomodachi live series? I thought about that. Um, I've been wanting to do it, but the problem is, like, I have so many other series going on to the point where it kind of gets lost in the shuffle. Because sometimes I just want to do, like, a one-off thing. But at the same time, it just makes Tomodachi life get more neglected. So, here's what I'm going to do. I think Tomodachi streams are going to just be... I'm, I'm going to try and make them, like, at the bare minimum, three a month. I'm, I'm going to try and work on that. I would buy all of them. I mean, yeah, but like, even then the marketing cost of like making a product, selling the product, having to ship the product, like, the, like that's a lot. If it was like a little kiosk at like, um, at like VidCon or some shit, then, then that would be fine. I would be 100% fine with giving out shirts and plushies and shit. But if it was like an online store, that that's a completely different ball field. Yet again, if I'm ever at VidCon, I'm going to set out a little cardboard kiosk outside. And I'm just going to fucking sell shirts and take pictures. I don't know. I think that would be funny. Um... <gasps> Oh, whoa, 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 okay, anyway, chat's still functional, I feel like chat crashed, no, it didn't crash, alright, we gooch, we gooch, gooch, we gooch, gooch, can I kidnap lag and hold him for ransom, uh, no, you can fucking not, <laughs> you need a permit to do that. How's your day been? Good. Very sleepy. Yet again, when you're talking to Point all night about, about just random shit, you do tend to get a little drowsy. Which also it was really funny uh, revealing my age to Point because they were like, What? I thought you were like 20. <laughs> I'm like, no, I was 16. <laughs> Which is funny. I found, I, I found that very uh, hilarious. And I love that a lot. I love revealing my age to people who don't know it. It's hilarious. Because people believe that I'm like 20 years old or something. But, nope. <laughs> Can I kidnap Doofus and sell it to a pet store? Uh, you, you need a permit. Which I don't believe that you have. At least I'm not alone, yeah. No, you, you need a permit, guys. You guys don't have a permit. You gotta get a permit first. I thought Lag was in his 30s. I mean, that that's good. I have a very good voice and, like, a good like a good way of speaking that makes me seem a lot older than I actually am, which is, which is fun. I like that. Makes me feel like I'm not some fucking shitty teen, <laughs> which is good. I like that. I think the majority of my audience is teenagers, though, which is nice. I like how I'm appealing to audiences that, you know, whatever. The q and still on? Well, yeah, we're still doing a Q&A. Like, if you ever need to make crash fast invent discount over and sell his kit... What the hell? I thought lag was 25. <laughs> yeah, that's, the, that's, that's kind of the range that people thought I was. 
It'd be funny if, like, I started YouTube at 10 years old and people were like, wow, he's 96. <laughs> Uh, no. I started YouTube when I was 15, though. Um, which is really weird looking back at it. Because, like, I don't know. L like, looking back at my old streams, I don't necessarily seem younger, but I seem a lot less comfortable with streaming. Or, like, a lot less, um, what's the word? I guess aware of stream. Not, not aware, but, like, um experienced that's the word that i'm thinking of and i thought i was a dumbass for thinking he was 21 <laughs> yeah i mean you know <laughs> when lag it turns 21 can we make a stream where lag gets drunk hell fucking yes except my only comp not, my only problem with that is that i know that i'm gonna say something dumb like i know i know deep down in my soul that if I get drunk, I'm going to offend people. <laughs> that is the that is my only problem with getting drunk on stream. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna say something fucked up. I am going to say something fuck my like smooth brain is gonna say something fucked up. Um <laughs> I, I'm gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be bad. So <laughs> So I'm definitely gonna need like some moderation there. When it comes to, or like telling people, hey, if I offend you, I'm so sorry, I was drunk. Oh. Uh, because, but, well, well, because I'm an idiot, you know? And like, normally I can hold back on myself from acting like an idiot. Um, but if I'm drunk, there's no limiter, you know? I'm just acting like a jackass, you know? Lag, I can legally drink. Either you are younger than me. Now I feel proud for no reason. I want to shoot myself after you kidnap. What the hell are you talking about? I think that's just because you're European and the uh, American drinking um, age is like more. Fun fact, I could drink legally in, uh, in Germany with an adult near me. Oh. Alright. Alright, an adult with me. Interesting. But yeah, I, I, I would be down with doing a stream where I get drunk. Um, I just, <laughs> I just know I'm going to say something dumb. I know I'm going to say something dumb and it's not going to be on purpose. Ugh. Question, how does Stuart hear with his ears? Um, I think you just answered that question with his ears. Next question. <laughs> to be honest, I don't really like drawing ears on characters. I don't know if this is just me, but like, I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of drawing ears on characters. They just look out of place and wrong. If a character does not have ears... Then we vibin', you know? That's just that that's just a good vibe. Also, yet again, when I say I'm going to offend somebody or uh I'm gonna say something stupid, I do not mean, oh hey, I'm gonna fucking I'm 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 gonna be like, oh man, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna say some racist shit. I would never say racist shit by the way. Um but just like little things that could offend people. <laughs> like <laughs> Like, like, I don't know, I'm so worried that I'm gonna get drunk and then start calling Loaf a dude, you know, like... Like, that. that's my biggest fear. <laughs> oh. Boy. Not actually a question, but I'd like to say that you're the first per- uh, That you're the first people to ever refer to me as female. That means a lot. Oh, cool. And then I immediately backhand that with saying, Oh man, I'm gonna get drunk and start calling Loaf a dude. <laughs> like next Halloween, give Stuart giant ears. <laughs> no, understandable. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna be drunk. I'm gonna act like an idiot, which is why if I do get drunk, I need someone to coach me and fucking slap me in the face when I say something dumb. <laughs> As well as the fact that I'm going to need to test whether or not 
Um, or, like, how I act when I'm drunk. Like, around family members. Just to see if it's good for me to do it on stream. Great timing there, Lag. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I really want to play Dream Team on stream, by the way, uh, since that is, like, my peak childhood uh, game, which is the main reason why I'm wanting to finish, like, other RPGs and stuff, like TTYD and Super Mario, uh, uh, Mario Luigi Superstar Saga. I recently finished Mutopia. I'm going to finish um, probably Origami King or Sticker Star next. I just want to, like, clear out my RPG book. That way, when I do play, um, like, Mario and Luigi Dream Team, it'll be good. Question. Will you do more Pizza Tower stuff, like mods? Um, I don't have access to Pizza Tower. That was all on Doofus's computer because he has a Windows. I have a Mac, and Pizza Tower does not run on Mac yet, so I cannot stream it at all. I would, I would be down for doing that, though. But, like, it'd be great content if you acted like a jackass. Yeah, but I'm just worried that I'd make people upset or angry or I'd say something dumb. And then I would just be, I, I, I just seem like this asshole. That's my main fear. Do you have more than 21 hairs on your head? No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> yes. I don't want to hear lag drunk. I mean, I don't know how I'm going to be when I'm drunk. We'll have to see in, in four years. Who knows what lag actually thinks of us in this little mind of his? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, shit. I'm going to fuck it. <laughs> I'm going to be like, oh, fucking Jam Raccoon sucks ass. <laughs> Like, I, I'm definitely going to say that while I'm drunk. I do, I do not think that, by the way. I'm just using that as an example. Um, but, <laughs> but I'm probably going to say some shit like that to, to somebody. Yet again, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to see and how I act when I'm drunk. If it's completely fine and I get giggly, that's gonna be funny. If that doesn't happen, then uh, no, I'm not gonna do it. Question: Will Doofus do Pizza Tower stuff? I don't know. Like, if you do get drunk, you should probably only do it. On a VC in Discord, cause safety on what? Yeah, you, you, you know what? Yeah, I, th I, th I think if I'm ever going to get drunk, it's gonna be in the VCs. I think that would be a good place to get drunk. I come in there like, uh, hello, hello, guys. <laughs> I feel like a like a basket of roses. <laughs> yeah, but you can't deny it'd be great content. Okay, I would. Okay. I would not be willing with streaming myself drunk, but I would be willing with filming myself drunk. That I would be fine with. Like, playing a game without a chat drunk, I could see that being fun. I could not see streaming, because, like, yet again, I'm a dumbass, so I'm gonna say something dumb. I would love to hear a racist and sexist leg. <laughs> Oh, I would love, I would love to hear racist and sexist black. Put that in quotes. Just <laughs> he would act like me when I'm with my homies. Someone please put that in quote in the quote section on Discord. That's a great quote. <sighs> oh, go, oh. oh. Okay, I will agree with Nameless. Same. Like, like, like me and my friends make very uh, risque jokes when we're, like, super tired and, like, uh, just, t just hanging out together. Oh, yeah, baby. Then again, like, the main jokes that we joke about are... And I know this is going to sound immature, but then again, I'm fucking 16 and allowed to be immature. Like, no joke. What, me and Doofus had this year 
long one year of this joke and it never got stale enough for us to stop within that year it was just about luigi having a 12 foot long penis that is the extent of the joke and that was around for a year Imagine if if drunk lag was just every ist and phobic. <laughs> oh, I would hate myself. <laughs> oh, don't get me started. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that was just a year-long joke. Like, um... Like, me and Doofus would just joke about Luigi having this incredibly long dong. And he wielded it like a weapon. <laughs> he would, like, smack people in the face. I forgot about that. He would, like, okay. And it got, it got to the point where, like, when reaching the climax... Of, no pun intended, but when reaching the climax of the joke, we made, like, it sentient. <laughs> I forgot. And, like, like we had this joke of, like, him living in a hotel and he had to rent two rooms. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm dying. Uh... That's the way you need it, any way you want it. Let's 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 get some perplexing pool. I feel like I don't play this one very often on stream. What the hell is wrong with you? Nintendo, that's all I'm saying. Anyway, bye. Alright, see ya. I still think that Nintendo should rethink about the Nintendo, you know? Like, I mean, Switch 2, that's such a bad name. You, you call it Nintendo, people are gonna buy it. <laughs> Would Doofus be allowed in hotels? Because no pets. Um, yes, because you got a little human certificate. Question, do you think there's one weird viewer that doesn't chat, but makes weird, assumptuous fanfics? Yes and no. I don't think that there's someone who doesn't chat and makes fanfics, but I do think there is someone who chats and, make fan and makes fanfics. To be honest, uh, I'm... <laughs> I, I, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but I've kind of been, like, patiently waiting for the day that there's a lag switch fanfic. Because I will roast the shit out of it and laugh and promote it and call it the best thing ever. <laughs> and yet again, like, I, I hate bringing up shit like that where it's like, oh, hey, can, can we get some fan art of this character? Because I always feel like a douchebag when doing it. Um, but at the same time, like, people have told me multiple times that they really like being inspired. Um... So, but at the same time, it makes me feel like an asshole. So, I don't know. Who do you think it could be? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm practicing soon for the um, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate song. I can, I can hit most of those notes. The problem is it gets like stupid high pitch later. Um, which is a problem. But I'm practicing, I'm practicing. <sighs> In what way do you see your chat members? As people who like to watch me. 
Yet again, I, I don't want this to become like a parasocial fucking relationship where people are like, Wow, Lag is my best friend because he makes YouTube videos. That is not what it is. <laughs> I, we need to draw a fine line right there. <laughs> I'm fine with us hanging out, like, via the internet and shit, but I will be 100% blatantly clear. I do not know you, you do not know me, alright? Just underline statement. How odd of you to dance around? Wait, what? Do you think there's one weird viewer that doesn't chat but makes weird assumptions? What, what question did I... Did I did? I think Lag is already acting drunk in his age. Never even been drinking. Yeah. What do you think I'd be? What do you mean? Like, um, like as a person or? Question. If a strong wind goes by, will Stuart fly away? No. He's, he's, he's a heavy boy. Also, I, I don't know what question I'm dancing around. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if I am dance, dancing around a question. <laughs> like saying this clear line will definitely help when he gets canceled. <laughs> when am I going to get canceled? How tall is Stuart? That's a good question. Because I still don't know. <laughs> I'd say he's... Hmm. Well, I mean, he's, he's, he's very tall. I say he's like a quarter taller than Luigi. And by that, I mean, we take a court. Actually, no, I, I, I'd i say he's, um, like, a Luigi and a half tall. Make him 9-5. I mean, maybe. Question. Uh, do you have any idea what Discount Guy Fury always nopes away every stream? I don't know. I kind of hate it, to be honest. I don't really like it where he where he comes into stream just to be like Vi or whatever. I'm like, that's that that's that's, that's not very a, a good vibe. Like, if you're gonna sit back and enjoy the stream, just tell me. If you're not, then just don't chat. <laughs> like, like just verbatim because it it kind of just I don't know, it's kind of distracting and takes away from the overall vibe. Because I definitely cherish the vibe of my streams a lot. Like, this is a very good vibe. This is a very good, wholesome vibe. I like this vibe. Um, that's like nine feet. Yeah, he's nine feet tall. Wait, shit. <laughs> I should look up... Actually, wait a minute. What? Hmm. Well, well, now I'm really starting to think how tall is Stuart. Very just message me. Just gonna, I'm just gonna tell him I'm talking about you on stream. Oh yeah, he, he keeps on telling me wh whether or not he's gonna be pull up WD. I keep on forgetting to give him that. It's like I'm just gonna get that out of the way now. There's like a place that he posts a lot. I guess the Mushroom Kingdom is a place that he posts a lot. Oh yeah, there is. Alright, you can have Cult Deputy back. I don't really care. Although I need to upgrade Cult Deputy to some other stuff, as well as I need to give somebody the rank of um, of someone who can give them the, the achievements, because holy shit, that's getting out of hand. Luigi is f uh, five foot nine. Dang. Very wholesome vibes. So Luigi's pee. 
Water or soda? I would go with... Hmm. Depends on my mood, but I would definitely go with water any day over soda. The return of Randy, yeah. Randy is back. The returns. Chris has risen. <laughs> Oh no, I, uh, I, I read that wrong. Rende returns. Ramses is the best. Um, I don't know what other questions we can go for. Uh, Mario Dance. <laughs> I don't know who Randy is, but I kind of like him because he's Randy, yeah. He, he's he's just Randy, he's just big chillin', big, big chillin' Randy. I vibe with big chill. What version of SpongeBob from Nintendo games, Super Nintendo or the Nintendo Switch? I don't quite know what that means. Wait. Which version of Spongebob from Nintendo games? What? I'm sorry, I have no idea what that means. I'm sorry, did, did I miss something? I feel like I just missed something because suddenly everyone's talking. Walmart or Target? Or, or no, wait, no, this, this is a question for me. Oh, I'm, I'm dumb. Uh, Walmart or Target? Uh... Walmart has more variety, but Target seems like a place that I wouldn't get shot. Um, I'm going to say Walmart for the sake of variety, although I might get shot. Or better yet, syringe in the neck. That's my personal way, favorite way to go. Favorite stealth game? I've not really played very many, so I don't really have an opinion on that one. I guess Wind Waker. <laughs> if you really count that. I mean, like, I, I really do need to play um, Metal Gear Solid. SpongeBob from the SpongeBob movie? Or from the Super Nintendo and SpongeBob from the Bikini Battle Rehydrated? What's your favorite? Oh. Um, like, as far as, like, an, uh, like, a look? I'd say probably, like, the game version. Like, like, like the video Gong Ho for weeks now. <laughs> is, 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 is that the new canon that people have, uh, have been? <laughs> One of my family members got shot at a target. I would have heard about this. No, they didn't. <laughs> What's the best gender? City or town? Uh, definitely town. I'm 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 more of a town person. I'm I'm just gonna skip around nameless as a question. My dad passed away from the war. What war? And also, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Yo, Miles, my uh, my German Shepherd just learned how to howl. That's awesome. I don't know if you can hear that at all. That's dope. He's becoming a man. Yeah, I'm sorry, Randy, though. I've also had people that I've lost before. 
Wind Waker from Zelda, yeah. PS5 or, S or Xbox? PS5 any day, because Microsoft is a fucking shell of a company. It's more expensive, but I'd rather buy PlayStation shit than even begin to touch uh, Microsoft. It's so gross. Be sitting here with all the consoles. Well, yeah, because you're fucking rich. <laughs> Microsoft kind of sucks. Well, yeah, that's the thing. Is like I have an Apple and I get made fun of it by other people who have Windows, and I'm like, you do know that your computer is worse, right? It runs like shit. You get fucking ads on your desktop. There's barely any customizability. It looks like shit. It sounds like shit. It is shit, and yet we all use it. What? Did you know I was Adventure Time fanboy? No, I didn't. Discount give lag money. Finally, people are speaking truths. Windows is better, easy? No. <laughs> I mean, Linux is the best of all of them. I mean, we, we just, just, just gentlemen's agreement. We, we, we all agree on that, but that's just, but like, it's barely a competitor, you know? Wallace or Gromit? Uh, whoever the human guy is, I'm picking that. I think that's Wallace. I think Gromit's the dog, right? No, ads on desktop is a choice? Okay, just wondering. Like, at the same time, when, like, it, it just sucks. Like, Windows computers just kind of suck. Like, Doofus's Windows computer, he has the latest model, and it runs like shit. It's almost depressing how bad it runs. Noise had a grommet mug. Oh, that was tricky. Which pets from the Sonic Adventure games? One and two. I've never played the Sonic Adventure games, so I don't really have an answer for that one. I'm sorry. He has a laptop. I mean, yeah, but still, though, like, Windows just has an operating system kind of sucks ass, right? I've used it. It's awful. It's messy, cluttered, and confusing. With Apple, it just makes sense. What's the best prime flavor? Uh, I mean, their gasoline is pretty good, but I really like their motor oil. Like, do you own any cool gaming items like plushies? I have been waiting for people to question me on this for fucking years now. I need to show off my Mario plushie collection. It is absurd. I will take a picture of it later. Let's just say that the majority of um, installation for this room so that there's not an echo is because of my Mario plushies. <laughs> and that's not me over exaggerating anything. That is just the truth. Can you show us the collection? I will do that later. Tell me why. What? Why I have so many? Which voice would you choose for Mario games? Uh, Chris Pratt or Charles Manette? Um, I love Charles so much. And I I kind of understand why. I mean, it, it would be so much money to get Chris Pratt to voice as Mario for games, so probably not Chris Pratt. Not to mention, he doesn't really sound like a Mario. Whoever's voicing him now, like, um, I think it's like Kyle. Kyle something is doing a really good job. But we, we can all agree that Captain Lou is the best Mario, right? Motor Oil is a pretty mid-person, honey. PlayStation or Xbox? Discount guy very Yes. 
No wonder lag is broke. <laughs> <laughs> and what's funny is that I even started making my own like that little applet plushie that I showed off I'll, I'll throw it up on screen again for those who didn't see it like this guy I don't just make um, like plushies like these uh, I make uh, plushies of like Goombas and Koopa Troopas and Shy Guys and stuff um, because eventually, like, that hobby got really expensive. So after a while, I just had to, you know, like, change it. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I, I did make this little guy much. Is the voice of Sonic from Sonic Prime? I don't know. I love that design, if I'm being honest. Oh, yeah, I love it, too. It's great. With, the, like, little, little apple juice, uh, uh, apple juice. A little <laughs> apple juice running down his eye like tears. The pupils are seeds. His feet are leaves. Um, and I don't know how I got this to happen, but I made his like the top of his head cave in like an actual apple. I still don't know how I did that. And I'm very impressed with myself. Um, but I love applets so much. Um, I need to, I, I need to make art of him. But uh, this is better than the majority of Pokemon designs. Which really goes to show that Game Freak fucking sucks. Um, but it also goes to show that I should work at Game Freak so that we don't get stupid looking Pokemon. Because <laughs> this is obviously better. Can you make Mario a, a ghost as a plushie? I mean, yeah, if I want to. Question, eat applet. No, too precious for this world. What's the best headset brand? I don't know. <laughs> what are your opinions on pineapples? They're good, but they hurt me. <laughs> it's like, it's, it's a food that fights back. This is probably my second favorite design of yours. I'm curious what the first favorite is. And I actually made more than just applet. Like, there was um, a banana creature. Um... I remember I made an orange one and a pear with a mustache. And then I think that was all that I made. Um, because they're like, um, they're supposed to be like this tribe of fruit people uh, living on this island, kind of like uh, existing with one another. Um, and then like, eventually I like that idea of like this Frutana tribe. I think that's what I named them. Uh, to the point where I added them into my... Um, my dream game project, which I'm not going to reveal anything about because if it does happen, I don't want anyone to know anything about it. First Stewart, of course. All right, yeah, I yeah. <laughs> Stewart is just peak design. Like, we do not get better than that. Because like, when it comes to design, I really like limited uh, are limiting myself on uh, facial expressions and shit. Like, that's the main reason why Stuart doesn't have a mouth, is because I, I was curious how much emotion I could give Stuart without him having a mouth. Because normally when people convey emotion, they smile, or they or they frown, or they make an angry, like, face, or whatever. Um, but Stuart is one of those cases where it literally cannot ever happen, um, which is what, like, gives him a great design. What do you think uh, of the taste after apples? Like that annoying sour taste. I've never gotten that. I don't know what that means. Whoever had a question on headphones, some good ones. Or shit. What is that? I mean, there's some good-looking Pokemon. I mean, yeah. But but I'm just saying I'm 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 designing them better <laughs> than uh, than modern-day Pokemon look. It's one of the reasons I didn't watch a lot of certain occasions. They have different 
opinions with lag and normally decide them since Pokemon was a childhood game. It hurts more. Oh, I'm sorry. Why is Applet sad? He's not sad. He's just dripping. <laughs> it's a medical condition. Don't blame him. I kind of prefer Dar Darvinix taste take on Stuart because of the eyebrows. I also like that a lot. Um, in fact, I, I'm kind of thinking about like adding some form of eyebrows onto Stuart. Um, or just like shaping the face almost that it could convey eyebrow emotions. Um, because like eyes kind of do that already, or Stuart's eyes kind of do that already, where like he can convey all those emotions with just his eyes and like eyelids. Like if he's worried, then um, actually wait, there's there's a great example. I wish that there is there a way to draw directly on OBS. One sec. No, I don't think that there is. Dang. Um, that sucks. Is there like a website I can just draw? The fuck? No, I'm just like... Searching up draw. Quick draw. Do uh, Google it.com. Yeah, sure. Why not? Oh, wait. No, this is fast drawing. Never mind. It's like a little game. Yeah, I, 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 I guess this works. Is it? Oh yeah. All right. Cool. I'll, I'll, I'll just use this. So like normally when I um, I'm, I'm just gonna draw like a really shitty looking muck up of Stuart. Can you just the size of my brush actually? Let's see. Uh. Let's get twenty. That might be too. Uh, oh, that might be too much. Let's get ten in there. All right. So like, eh. <laughs> this uh, this is gonna look stupid. I I, I already know. Actually, I, I should probably do, like, front-facing, right? Wow, it, it's really hard to draw with mouse. Because, like, it kind of looks like this. Then you have the top. Then you have, like, the hair... Kinda comes in like that, and then it's kind of interesting watching people, uh, or people watching me draw. I did not make his hair long enough, but at this point, I don't care. And then, and then he's got like his chin back up. There you go. All right, so this is just like a very crappy looking mock-up. Let's, let's give him some uh, some pupils. Oh gosh, oh dear, uh oh. Let's say, let me just let me, let me just, let me just do this the good old fashioned way. Boom, boom. All right, there we go. So this is <laughs> looks perfect. Yeah, Stuart eyebrows. Yeah, so. This is the main reason why I don't draw Stuart with eyebrows. Um, it's 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 just kind of like the way that I draw, uh, or just the way that I like to, because um, I'm really fine with people drawing like different features on Stuart. I'm completely fine with that as long as it's not a mouth. I swear to God, if it's a mouth. Um, is there an eraser tool? Is 
isn't it? One sec. Oh, come on. History, zoom, layers. Uh. I don't know. Let's just say that theoretically we, we want to make Stuart, um, like, angry, right? How would we do that? Well, normally it would be like this. Um, but what I do is this. To convey emotion. I use the eyelids instead. And then, like, the upper part of the eye would just be gone. If Stuart needs to be sad, he would look like this. If Stuart had one eyebrow raised, this one would just be slightly lower. I, I, I guess he just looks kind of unenthusiastic. There, there was one really good art where it did actually look like he was, um, like raising an eyebrow like this. But that's that that that's besides the point. Um, ba basically, I just I just draw Stuart without eyebrows because I don't know. I feel like it. <laughs> I, I like having artist limitations, and I think that limitation is very fun to mess around with. And if we ever wanted to make Stugart, we would just add little patches around him. As well. Like this. Little stitch marks. I'm, I'm just drawing at this point. And the eyes would be uh, different colors, but they would also be like uh, separated slightly. And the nose would also be stitched on like that. There you go. Stugart. Yay. Well, perfect timing for the music. I vibe with this now. Do a Stuart Tross speedrun. I'd be down with doing it. Yeah. Yet again, there's no, there's nothing wrong with giving Stuart eyebrows. I just like working within limitations. Like the music's gone. Oh, it is. Rise. I said that the music was funky. It disappeared. Ba -ba -bang -do -da 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 question what's what did start your nintendo love oh boy um i i played a lot of nintendo games when i was younger like real young like young to the point where i could barely operate a controller i remember me and my family would play our uh, me and my parents specifically because my sister was um way too young to even know what a video game was or process it uh me and my parents would play mario kart together uh and they would like lose intentionally to make me feel good <laughs> which is awesome i love the fact that they did that i have awesome parents by the way um <laughs> don't know if you knew this about me but like i have awesome parents and they're totally better than you are i said nah <laughs> nah just kidding <laughs> um well, such a, it was, it, was it, 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 like, that kind of blossomed in my love of video games, as well as, um, my love of, um, uh, th that and, um, fucking Kirby's Epic Yarn was another big one for me, where that definitely did shape my, uh, childhood a lot. Oh, that's nice, yeah. Personally, it was me having a DS when I was a kid, yeah. Leg switch lower, leg switch has a sister. That is true, that is true. I do have, I do have a sibling. Um... I say sibling, I, I, I just want to say sister. Dang it, Discount, your dialect has gotten into mine. How dare you? Question, do you have a favorite Pokemon? Magnemite, easy question. Heck yeah, we got the hour mark ag ag uh, algorithm. Ugh, gosh, I cannot speak right now. This is actually helping me wake up, although I do need to do some shit. Like, um... Like, uh... Take my online classes and shit. Ugh, gosh. That's why I get for talking to point till five in the morning. Jeez.
I gotta hold back when I do that next time. It's the longest I've stayed up with anyone on a Discord call. Holy shit. Magnemite does kind of look like Stuart. How? How? One sec. this bip, bip. oh dang it the music cut out again shit gotta fix it oh yeah by the way uh my cat's been in my room this entire time he starts sneezing and i'm like oh <laughs> gazoon tight what do people say Gazuntai? Just say bless you like a normal human being. Wait, I just realized that this is one of the earliest streams afternoon for me. Anyway, see ya. Oh, alright, see ya. Hey! <coughs> oh! Oh! Speaking of blessing somebody. <laughs> Question, is there a genre of games that you hate slash don't want to play? Hmm. I guess anything Fortnite I don't really like. Um, well, it's very vague. Yeah, I think my cat has allergies. Anyway, what's your favorite Mario version from Mario games? Um, my favorite Mario, I'd say, uh, the paper one. <laughs> Actually, no, my, my favorite Mario is the one from uh, Mario and Luigi, or just any, just any of the Mario and Luigi series. Those, those are fucking nuts. Love those. Who do you think has watched the most hours of your content? Toasty says doofus. That's actually not true. Um, I don't think I can... I don't think that there's a way to check. I believe... Probably Bob, to be honest. I just realized that all of you have no life because you tune on... Or, or you, you tune in daily... For three hours watching me act like an idiot. <laughs> oh, good lord. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> uh, nah, just kidding. What's your opinion on Mario Luigi Partners in Time? I like it. <laughs> That's about where that ends. I... Space, like space, it space. I have no life whatsoever. <laughs> oh, fair enough. <laughs> I swear if the music just disconnected again, it did, didn't it? Oh, it sure did. Oh, this is this is a beautiful game of cat and mouse, isn't it? Oh, I love that. All right, the music's back.
Buap, buap, buap. Uh, I messed up the thing. Applebee's or red lobsters. I've actually never eaten that either. Random fact about me. Neither have I eaten at Denny's or um What's what's what what's the other big one? There's like one other big one. I guess Olive Garden's a pretty big one. Which I have actually eaten at Olive Garden, which uh, uh, coming from an Italian, I can say that Olive Garden is, and, <laughs> and Darvinix is about to punch me in the face, it's good, but it's not Italian. I think that's the best way I think I'd describe uh, fucking Olive Garden. It's good in like a McDonald's way, you know, where like, you know that it's shit, but you don't really care. You're just there to have a good time. <laughs> Me as a European. What is an Applebee's and a Red Lobster's? Oh boy. Uh, Apple, they're both like chain restaurants, which means that they're owned by... Cor so like imagine a McDonald's, but instead of it being like fast food, it's um, it's like an actual like establishment, like a cafe or something. How could I possibly know what Olive Garden is? Oh, dude. If, if, if you ever come to America, go to an Olive Garden. It'll blow your fucking mind. <laughs> Quality garbage. Yeah, exactly. Wendy's or Chick-fil-A? I fuck with Chick-fil-A. Like, not gonna lie, I fuck with Chick-fil-A every day of my life. The problem is the shit that they're putting in the food, but I mean, it's it it's too good. It's too fucking good, dude. Chick Fil A is a company that can <laughs> that can somehow like <laughs> that they can somehow go and be transphobic while still getting away with it. I don't know how the fuck they did it, but man, it's good. Are you fucking shitting me? The the, the music cut <laughs> again. And we're back. All right. Can we play the music for more than five seconds this time, please? Are you going to make a custom hat for Red Dead 2? Probably. Hey, do you think Mario and Luigi are the best ones? If you play Paper Mario, or if you play Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Wait, what? Sure, you have to. Is the sus? I I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Do you have or ever played Pikmin Bloom? I do actually have Pikmin Bloom. I'm not very active on it. Um, probably because I, I spend most of my life indoors. Mainly because it's winter and I fucking hate walking in the winter. Did the music just cut out again? I'm about to murder. Um, Alright, one second. Let me just delete this. Thank you, Jake. I had a new audio capture. There we go. Alright, that should fix it. 
I'd much prefer if you didn't though. The game's so beautiful, meaningful. And I wouldn't want a HUD taking that away. <laughs> well, I mean, it was gonna have a HUD anyway. Would you, would, okay, would you rather have a HUD kind of looking like uh, the game? You know, very, very nice maroon, like maybe, maybe some dark oranges, you know? Or, <laughs> or the contrary. Which would be having a HUD that looks like this. It's your pick. Oh yes, the blues and in the in the, the bright colors definitely go well with the game. Uh, no, I mean like no HUD whatsoever. Oh what? You mean just like nothing? I don't think I would. Is there a filter that I could put on this? Maybe it's just the song. Maybe it just loops too often. Whoa, cup noodles getting an advertisement. I don't know why they're... The entire point of cup noodles is the fact that you don't really want them, but you have them. Also, wow, I could go with some ramen right now. Wow. But most likely, um, the live stream will feature a HUD for the sake of like me wanting to have chat and Stuart on screen. I mean, maybe I could make something special for Red Dead, where like chat is more in a corner or something. How would I do that, though? Because I'd have to chroma key chat. That'd be a pain in the ass. Um, but yeah. Hey bro, it means Q and uh means it's Q and A time. Well, yeah, it is, it is a uh, question and answers. And shit. Favorite Super Mario World ROM hack: Mario's Mystery Meat, easily. I'll stay until my phone dies. All right. All right, death is near. It was a pleasure. My phone's gonna die now. All right, see you there. I'd prefer no HUD, but if you need to make one, make it dark and red. Alright. Dark, red, and black. Yeah. I see that. Probably not going to be black since it would contrast too much with the outline. Or, yeah, with the outlines of the HUD, but it would probably be like a very dark gray. And I just described my Among Us HUD. Let me go grab that. I have way too many HUDs, dude. Yep, I just described this bad boy. Red Dead Redemption, baby. And then just have an image of Arthur Morgan on the on the van. Ugh, gosh, I have so many HUDs, actually, like too many. I have I have too many HUDs. Like there's so many of these things. Like this is my world of goo HUD. I haven't used this thing since that one stream that I played World of Goo. Why do I have this? I don't know. Why did I make it? I don't know. Because I felt like it, dang it. Which one is this one again? Oh yeah, this is uh, Punch-Out. This one's classic. Um, Let's see. What other HUDs do I have in here? Just random side adventure, why don't we? 
Um, oh, wow, this is when Stuart didn't blink, and I could just have him in, like, the corner. Well, that feels wrong. It feels, like, really, really wrong not having him blink. What was this? Oh, that's uh, TDYD. Nice. That's a classic one. Oh, this one's great. Back back when Doofus used to be D E W F U S. Oh. What's your favorite movie and why is it dude? <laughs> uh. <laughs> what, is what is your favorite? What is your favorite movie and why is it dude? Actually, Dune isn't even my favorite movie. My favorite movie is Oh, that's a tricky one. Uh I don't know what my favorite movie is. It kind of changes. Um, I'd say if there was like just a hands down movie that I would say is like one of the greatest of all times, um, I just could go with a boring answer and just say Spider Verse because it's awesome. But at the same time, I don't want to be boring, so I'm gonna say ch uh, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. That redefined my fucking childhood. Well, that and Ratatouille, both of those were like, I, I'm a, I'm a big food guy. If you didn't know, for me being um as skinny as I am, literally looking like a stick. That you would find on the ground. Um, <laughs> I, <laughs> I I love to cook and stuff. I can gush about Red Dead 2 for hours. I would say save that gushing for um for the fall. Because that, that's when I'm doing Red Dead 2. Or at least starting it. How many polygons does Stuart have? Too many. I <laughs> also love the polygonal Stuart. It's great. Why is the Mario RPG Mario walking? Uh, he, he's dancing in the background. I don't know. This just became like a little thing where like we just have that in the background for some reason. I don't know why. What do we got on the red tab for odds, actually? I'm curious. Oh, this is my Nintendo Direct HUD. I meant to use this earlier, but I didn't get to. The three... <laughs> <laughs> With the three Shigeru Miyamoto's. I forgot that I cut him out and then pasted him. <laughs> I love that. I can't wait to use this one again. This one's classic. Um, Let's see. What other ones do I have? This is my Pizza Tower HUD. That Doofus made. Or uh, me, 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 me and Doofus both made this. But I really like the look of that one. Um, I got my Donkey Kong Country Tropic, uh, uh, my Donkey Kong Country Returns HUDs. I have a bunch of these, all of which slowly, slowly more of them dying. <laughs> Forgot about those. And, um, I wonder where that old, or my old, um, Color Splash HUDs are. There's someone in here, uh, there's somewhere in here. Oh, that takes me back. The Wind Waker randomizer days. Those were hype. Um, I want to find the color splash HUDs. Oh, this was my very first HUD. This is the Project Zero of HUDs, which is which probably explains why it looks like ass. <laughs> the music cut out again. Goody two shoes. I love the look of this. It's like <laughs> it looks so it 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 definitely does look like a patient zero of HUDs. It has all the things that I left behind. As well as for some weird reason the chat box is blue. Why is it blue? There's no reason why it should be blue. It should be transparent. 
And there's no text at the bottom. Opinion on autism powers. I don't know. They exist, I guess. Like, be careful of stairs. Or favorite rank in Pizza Tower? Uh, I, I, I don't know, P rank. I, I like going for P rank in Pizza Tower, to be honest. What's your favorite book and why is it Dan? <laughs> Austin. Austin Powers. I read that as autism. <laughs> well, that just goes to show that I'm autistic. <laughs> I read that as autism power. Uh, no, Austin Powers is great. Uh, autism Powers. You make me right autistic, baby. Do I make you autistic? <laughs> that actually does sound like a joke they would make. If, if Austin Powers 4 would ever happen. Oh. Wow, that was mess up of the century. Good lord. Alright. I'm gonna go find one more head and then we'll just stare at that. What about green? It's in the green section here. Oh, this one makes me both happy and sad. Wow, that's old. That's about as old as it gets. Or not, not as old as it gets, but it's 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 as old as custom huds get. This was the first custom HUD. And uh, I love it. The salt meter, Louis in the corner, the, the color scheme of it all. Oh, dude. That takes me back. I remember I had like little dials on the salt meter. Oh. Man, that takes me back. It kind of makes me sad. It's like, it's like looking into the past and like realizing, man, there was so much awesome about the beginning, but at the same time, I'm happy where I ended up. What is it? Pink and green, uh, cherry blossoms and grass. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> that was my thought process. <laughs> I was like, Okay, so so what would make a good Pikmin 2 HUD? Oh, I should probably take it from the color scheme of, of the title. Um, and it was like the flowers on the Pikmin 2 title were like this uh, pinkish color that looked like cherry blossoms. And then the leaves were dark, which looked like grass. So I just kind of titled that in my brain as the, as the <laughs> cherry petal and grass HUD. Oh. But yeah, that's that that's why it's green and pink. I wonder if I'll ever do a stream while I'm on my deathbed. I'm just like, yo, what's up? We're here, we're gonna watch me die. <laughs> Hopefully all of you can join for the funeral stream, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Oh gosh, that's grim and yet hilarious. Oh. Uh, 
it's like, it's like I, I die while I'm streaming. <laughs> like playing a Mario level and then just suddenly flatline. <laughs> Huh. I did, that is true. Bro, can I join your team? Team of what? Like, uh, cultists? Idiots? Delinquents? Psychopaths? I mean, we, we, we got a Discord in the description. This is the funeral stream? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, don't say that. I might die. Don't jinx it, Jam. I don't know how much longer I should keep stream going because at the same time I do have plans to do like a real stream, you know? Well, this was supposed to be fucking Indie World and yet here we are talking about me getting drunk and <laughs> in different HUDs and lag switch characters and lag wear and we're doing a Q- Our very first successful Q&A though. Like this, this is the first time where where people had like uh questions instead of it just being like shit posts which i find kind of fascinating question hypothetically would you play pokemon on stream yes and not just rant about how shitty it is uh no actually i thought about doing a nuzlocke but each of the uh pokemon represent chat members so this is how it would work so basically each po uh, each Pokemon would be named after a chat member. And if that Pokemon dies, then no matter what, at the beginning of every single Pokemon stream, you would get timed out for 24 hours. <laughs> 24 hours so that you wouldn't be able to talk. Because <laughs> you're canonically dead. It would be a beautiful thing, to be honest. A friend luck. Yeah, kind of. But with chat instead. Also, what about lagware? Uh, it's gonna happen at some point. And also autism fads. Yeah, that happened. What an awful idea. No, it's a great idea. Cause, because, hear me out. Would people want to be named after a Pokemon? For the sake of, like being a part of the stream or would they rather play it safe and not be named after the Pokemon you know would you rather play it safe and sit on the sidelines or would you potentially risk everything and become a Pokemon it's cool it's a cool thought I guess there would be less incentive to watch the stream if your Pokemon does die, but like at the same time, like you can wonder where the other ones go, you know, like who dies next and shit, which is funny. If you catch a Paladin Whooper, I want to be it. All right. I know that Pokemon's like a big part of everyone's childhood, and I always try and respect people's childhoods because I believe they're precious. Um, and I, I know that I shit talk Pokemon a lot. I'm gonna try not shit talk Pokemon as much because it's mainly Game Freak that I have a problem with, not Pokemon in itself. Which, I mean, I guess like I get the same feeling when people make fun of Nintendo because I'm gonna be the first to say it. Nintendo is a fucking shitty company, all right. We we're just gonna rip off that Band-Aid right now. Um, but at the same time, it, it does it does sting a little bit, you know, when like uh, you do get called things like a Nintendo baby or like um, Nintendo simp. I hear a lot, and I'm like, ouch, dude. That ouch. <laughs> you know, 
Oh, it, it, it hurts. It's real, but it hurts. <laughs> The Pokemon fans add the passion to Pokemon games. Freak, freak kind of is kind of there. Yeah, I guess so. I guess the Pokemon fans are really keeping the series alive because if it wasn't for them, the game would the the fucking company would be under underground by now. <laughs> I'm so shocked that Game Freak is allowed to make a fucking Pokemon game every three years. That still baffles my head. And none of them are good. At least none of the modern ones are good. Don't worry, I'm also a Nintendo person, and I must say this meme, Nintendo when people don't want to hear music. <laughs> or, when, uh, Nintendo when people want to hear music, yeah. I always found that very fascinating, how, like, Nin Nintendo's never made, like, a Spotify thing. I feel like they can make a lot of money off of that. Mainline Pokemon game comes out every three years, which is also fucking insane. Game Freak is a shell of a company, man. Just just like Gatorade. Have, okay, have any of you tried modern day Gatorade? It's ass. It like actually tastes like you're like drinking chalk. Like it's so bad. Meanwhile, body armor, on the other hand, is like, is the the fucking Giga Chad that it is is just is, is bringing back that flavor. I love it. What if I think chalk is delicious? Well, I mean, then Gatorade's for you, dog. Then again, it tastes like nuclear waste and chalk had a baby, and then they turned that into a. This is what my first car looked like when I bought it, and now it looks like this. Sorry, uh, I'm just, <laughs> let's get some busted bio in here. Oh, David Wise is a fucking mad lad. I love that. Ba da no. Do da 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 do. Da 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 da. Does everyone want to copy you as a green screen kid? I didn't know what that was until my sister informed me on it. It's just like kids who sit in the corner of videos and just like sit there <laughs> and pirate the stuff. I had never heard about that until recently, and when I did, I was like, wow, the YouTube can't. <laughs> YouTube needs to fix their fucking problems. Susie Delta and finding out Gatorade tastes like chalk. <laughs> Gatorade's still a thing, yeah. It tastes like nothing. I've not heard that one yet. I love this song so much. It reminds me of Hawaii. I was super young when I lived in Hawaii, by the way, so like I don't remember a lot about it, but like there's some very vague memories, and this music's definitely bringing back some memories. Steel drum. 
tan tan da dan tan da da ra da da do ta da da do ra da 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 isn't Markiplier also from Hawaii? Yeah. Okay, actually, okay, real quick. Before this song kicks into um, the saxophone stage, aka the best stage, um, I actually, <laughs> you might not know this, but I got like really close to meeting Obama. <laughs> Cause my, uh, because Obama used to vacation a lot in Hawaii, um, which every time that he was, it kind of felt like you could not be within like, 12 feet of Obama <laughs> which kind of sucked a little bit because it almost felt like he was in this glass dome that you kind of just had to walk around it was like that meme of like the one guy uh going one direction there's basically just this row of people kind of like <laughs> just around them like trying to avoid it kind of felt like that um which is very weird um but yeah he used to just be in Hawaii and I think I even got to see him one time Wish I got his autograph. That, that, that would have been hype. Obama autograph in Hawaii. Like on a fucking palm leaf. I would hang that up in my wall. And, and I would want it to read. Like, like, like I, I want there to be a quote. And just the following. Um, I do know about Obama fried chicken. And I hope it's business thrives. Obama. <laughs> that would be the best thing ever. Anyway. Uh, moving back to Busted Bayou. Here we go. Be best part of the whole song. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, it gives me chills. Oh, it's so good. Fucking great. Lego player. I love how soon as they said, oh yeah, I almost met Obama. What, what, what? Obama. Fellow Americans, this is leg twitch. <laughs> Are you fucking terrified of Obama? Watch his legs twitch? Yeah. Le Epic Jazz. Have you ever heard this hit stealth game Hitman? Yes, I have. Didn't really seem like my thing, but it does look fun. Oh yeah, this song's also great. Surprise, it's me, your oil change light. <laughs> I'd be terrified if my oil change light started talking to me. I just redraw berry in crayons because it's the easiest. And it's not that bad. Oh, okay. Cool. Nice. Barry, the robot guy who's also a police officer. I guess he's not really a police officer. He's just a moderator. Surprise, it's me. Your oil changed light. <gasps> Jump back. <laughs> Get in the back. Get down. Oh yeah. Also, uh, you know that war movie that I saw last night. I, I I guess for some they didn't they don't know about this, but I watched this um movie about if America had a civil war, in like twenty twenty four, um, very interesting movie in concept, and I like the idea on concept in like all the characters are really interesting on concept and like, are in in concept and like. The world is cool in concept, and the movie is really good in concept. But in reality, that movie sucks ass. <laughs> Oil change art win. 
Ugh. Um, which by the way, I can I could barely take the movie seriously at times because of number one, just how much like fucking crude and like graphic violence there is. I mean, I guess it is war, but like it never really amounted to anything. Was it the one that ended with a nuclear bomb? No, it was the one that ended with, um, with, um, Ron Swanson getting shot. But I don't know, it kind of felt like it wanted to be multiple movies at the same time, but it kind of just ended up being very immature. War, like the Pizza Tower level? Yeah. Have you seen Maze Runner? It's one of my favorite movies. I have not. Also, I think I'm going to end stream here soon, and I'll be back with uh, TTYD. It's going to be a lot less of a, hey, this is a very unscripted vibe. I guess all of my streams are unscripted, but um, this is very just like, let's just vibe out, have a good time, chill, get big funny, and, um, and stuff. But I'm going to go do some shit. I'm going to come back with TTYD. It's going to be hella lit. Hopefully all of you can be there uh, for another couple hours of pure stupidity. And it's going to be great. Um, so yeah. Fun fact, in Hitman 2, you can assassinate one target by turning them into a brick of cocaine. Nice. Stream ended? Yeah. We're going to end off here. Thanks for joining. I'm not even going to put up my normal stuff. I'm not even going to use my catchphrase. I want to save that for later. Um, and with that, I'm gone. Goodbye. <laughs> I guess. Oh, the music cut out. Oh, when did that? Oh, well, I don't need it now. Anyway, bye.